can the claim that quantum physics may be important in consciousness is very controversial for a series of reasons. You're trained as a physicist. You focus on consciousness. What's your thinking about the possible importance of quantum physics? Well, I sh wish I could say that quantum mechanics is mysterious, consciousness is mysterious, <laughs> so they must be related. Uh, this is a rubbish idea. <laughs> I, should, I, sh I wish I could say in these simple terms, but uh, I personally believe that there's something deep, you know, deep, there's some deep connection between consciousness and co uh, quantum mechanics. Well, of but, course there is. Quantum mechanics is everywhere. It's in the chair, it's in everything, because quantum mechanics is the fundamental structure of the universe. It's, it's how yeah. all matter works. So, of course it is. The question is in the brain, it's the orders of magnitude of where qu quantum physics yeah, exactly. works and where the neuronal activity is, is, is very vast. And the question is, is could something at, 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 with such a huge difference of orders of magnitude have any impact at all? Yeah. Uh, the answer to that would be quantum mechanics might be actually functioning in a very implicit level. By which I mean, uh, you know, if you look at this chair or my hands or this jacket, these look like classical, very stable, macroscopic objects. Mm. But in order to, for them to exist in a stable manner, right. we do need quantum mechanics because otherwise electrons circulating, <laughs> you know, we run this kind of uh, thing in undergraduate right. physics. Uh, without quantum mechanics, we cannot explain the stability of, right. you know, everyday right. materials. Right. So the same thing can be said about the brain. It appears that quantum mechanics is not related to brain function in an explicit way, okay. but it is uh, evidently related to brain functioning in an implicit way. But so is it every other place, in your kidney, exactly. in your heart, and everything else. So, so is there any explanatory power in that at all? Uh, as I say, it's an open question, and nobody knows. Well, how could it be? How, how could quantum mechanics be involved in the in the, the neuronal information level. Certainly it's, it's involved at keeping stability and making the chemicals work because it, that, that has to be everywhere. Certainly it's that case. Yeah. But how, why could there, how could a special role of quantum mechanics work in, in, in a in neural information system? Yeah, I'm, become, I'm going uh, a bit speculative. Okay, that's absolutely true. Uh, you know, uh, Albert Einstein, when he uh, came up with the special theory of relativity mm. in 1905, uh, he asked a very fundamental question, what it means for two events to be simultaneous. Right. Before that, he people just assumed that, you know, two events are simultaneous or not. <laughs> but Einstein asked what it means operationally to say that two events are simultaneous. From that, he came up with this very revolutionary theory of nature. I think probably some similar thing might happen when you ask uh, the relevance of quantum mechanics to brain function. We start from the assumption that the brain is a macroscopic classical mm -hmm. uh, entity mm -hmm. made up of these molecules and so on, but there might be some hidden assumptions in that. Nobody knows what these assumptions are yet, but I suspect that once you ask, for example, what it means that the brain is composed of neurons and neurons are composed of, uh, you know, biomolecules and so on. Uh, if you start asking these assumptions, there might be some surprises hidden there, I suspect. Hmm. In that, you know, from the back door, so to speak, uh, quantum mechanics might become relevant to brain function. What would a surprise look like? I have no idea. Well, could, 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 you're talking about a, a summation of, of quantum mechanical effects across different neurons, kind of super positioning together in some, in some uh, uh, quantum mechanical uh, uh, field for the whole brain? I mean, there are a lot of wild yeah, ideas yeah, that, that, for example, uh, you that know, seem rather kooky. Yeah. <laughs> well, I admit that. Well, uh, in quantum mechanics, uh, there's this concept of entanglement, right? Yeah. Uh, a paired electron can be entangled right. when they travel to right, right. a very di long distance. And uh, there might be some sophisticated network of entanglement in the brain. Nobody knows. Uh, this is very speculative. Sure. But nobody knows. I mean, you know, the, I think the gist of the matter is that classical mechanics and quantum mechanics are very uh, in intertwined together. So you can say, something is classical, unless you refer to quantum mechanical background. 
And you cannot make sense of quantum mechanics unless you refer to some macroscopic uh, structure that makes the observation possible. Sure, sure. So these two things are intertwined. So why not the brain? I mean, in the brain, the classical processes and quantum mechanical processes must be intertwined together. So that's why I believe there might be some surprises through the back door, so to speak, <laughs> uh, in the relationship between consciousness and quantum mechanics.